Give me a moment and I'll talk about the changes you are seeing here. Before that, I want to show you how I found a link to a blog post that I wanted to add to the last video. So I went to the search box and here I typed type blog because I knew it was a blog post. So now I have the list of all my blog posts, but this is not so helpful. But I knew it had the inbox word in it. So now I have two uh, posts. I know that the, this is the one, but this one also has inbox in the tag. So all I need to do was click here, come here. Remember that I told you that the plugin grabs the URL from the post and adds it automatically to this property. So co I copied this, I copied the, the title and pasted it to the YouTube description box. Then a couple of hours later, I needed another blog post, but that one was a recent one. And I knew that it was at the top of the list, the timeline list. It's not at the top anymore because we are uh, a few days in the future now, but it was. It was this one here, stripped down Evernote. I needed this one and I didn't do it at the moment but because I, I wanted to show it to you, but this is but here's what I think it's a useful thing to do. Let's delete this inbox here. Now I have a list of all my blog posts and the last one is here. This is exactly the one I was looking for. Add to bookmark. Let's choose a timeline. Uh, let's call this blog posts and save it. And now if I need to do this again, and I'm pretty sure I'll need to do this again. It's here, blog posts. You can, uh, I'll later find a, a, a good emoji, but now every time I need to see the last post, all I have to do is this. So let's talk about the changes you are seeing. No, before that, let me, let me explain how these numbers are here. I didn't mention this in the last video, but this is the file explorer node count. There are only three settings. All I needed was the numbers. Show all numbers is off here because this will show, let me close this. If I collapse this, there is the number here 14. So action container has 14. When I open it, this number goes away. So this is what, it's just a visual thing. <laughs> this will show the number there. Can you see? I prefer it without the number. Then there is add root folder. This is the top one there with all the nodes. So there is my name there, Black Campos, and the number, the total number of nodes I have uh, in my vault. I don't think this is really useful for anything, at least in my case, but it's another cool information to have. And this one here will show all the uh, markdown files only. I mean, only the markdown files if I if it's on. So when you look at this, uh, even if I have I don't know an image or something else inside the folder, it will not count. It will only count the notes, the markdown files. So these numbers they give me a good idea of the work in progress. So there are two collaborations that I'm working on at this moment. I have uh, two trips coming up. I have a video, a YouTube video that I'm working on. And this one is the one. So when I finish with this one, I can drag it to the timeline. And that the same is true for all the other uh, items there. The clients are not here. I'm keeping the clients on Evernote. It's much better. All my clients, they are there because I can search. There is the calendar. I, I've talked about this in the other video. And the timeline system, I'm working on it here because of the canvas and because of the integration with Scrivener. You can uh, watch another video about this integration right here. It's a pretty cool integration that I created to work with uh, Obsidian and Scrivener together. So let's talk about this new layout. What did I do here? Uh, the main thing was moving all the containers that I'm still working on, that I'm still uh, moving the files to the timeline. I moved the, the containers, the folders to the static containers uh, folder. This will clean everything here and will give me time. I can do that on my pace. There, are, there is still a, a trips there folder. There is still, there, there are many 
folders there that will disappear in the future that I'm slowly moving the files to the timeline. And then here, bookmarks, I'm using this now just as a filter to make my life easier. So like we just created the, the blog post filter, I have the journal filter, the trips filter. So I'm, I'll am i keep creating filters here to help me quickly go to a set, a subset uh, from the timeline folder. Before I go, there's one last thing that I want to share with you, my thoughts about this style of video. This is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I, I, I always wanted to create this sort of vlog of my progress, how I'm doing things, creating things. It's not a vlog, but it's kind of, uh, I mean, the, the progress. I don't know. I, I'd like to, to know what you think about this because I really want to make this work. I like this style, but I don't know if this is something that uh, you guys like to watch. Anyway, if this was helpful, I'd appreciate it thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.